Hello everyone, uh, this is Ijaz Khan and in this video we are going to discuss sensitivity analysis, one of the topics of performance management paper of ACCA. Well, instead of going into the definition of sensitivity analysis, which I believe will be too bookish, it's better to understand it with the help of an example. Well, uh, let's suppose that a company is accepting a project which has falling financials available. And before it accepts this project, it's just looking for the financial benefit that it is going to get once it accepts it. So uh, let's assume that this project is expected to generate $100,000 revenue. The sales volume is expected to be 5,000 and the price is going to be 20. Variable cost will be 12 per unit and 60,000 in total with the resulting contribution of $40,000 and then the fixed cost 25,000 and with a net profit of $15,000. Since there's a profit in profit expected from the project, it is apparently worth taking. But before the company accepts it, there's one thing for sure that since these profits or sales volumes or prices will be related to future and there will always be some risk involved of whether the price will remain the same as expected or the sales volume will remain the same as expected or the fixed cost is going to be the same. So the changes may occur and these changes may be favorable or adverse for the organization. So if in order to see how much change in a particular variable a company can afford, it has to perform sensitivity analysis. Basically, sensitivity analysis tells how sensitive the project is to a change in any project variable. Let's, let's assume that we are checking the sensitivity of this project from the selling price point of view. So let's look at how sensitive this project is to the change in selling price. Like currently we expect that the price will be 20 and we are very much fine with the 20 price as it will be giving us $15,000 profit. But why if the price changes? We will never be worried about the increase in the price but definitely we will be worried about the decrease in the price. So to check how much decrease in this price we can afford before the project, the project's profit is gone. Definitely, we do not want this price to change to a level that we start making any loss. So currently, we are earning a profit of $15,000. And we're just trying to find out how much change in percentage terms we can afford in this price before the project starts making loss. So at the moment, the profit is $15,000. And if the price changes, it will change the revenue figure. So we don't want this price to change in such a way that the total change in the revenue is more than $15,000. Because if this revenue falls by more than $15,000, we will be making a loss. So the maximum change that this company can afford in the sales revenue due to this change in price will be $15,000. So we just want to see what is this $15,000 equal to as a percentage of the total revenue. So we'll divide 15,000 by 100,000 to see what percentage change we can afford in the sales revenue due to the change in this price and it's 15 person. So if the revenue goes down by 15 person and it is reduced to 85 person, the revenue will be $85,000. And since there will be no change to the sales volume, there will be no change to the variable cost. So the variable cost in total will remain the same. And the resulting contribution in this case 
will be $25,000 and it is going to be equal to $25,000 of fixed cost and the company will be making no profit whatsoever. No profit. So it means that this is the maximum change that the company can afford. And this changes because of the price. So we can say that the price can only reduce by 15%. And if it reduces by more than 15%, the company is going to make a loss which the company cannot afford. So we can say that the sensitivity of this project to the selling price is 15%. So let's check it out whether the change of 15% will make the profit as zero. So let's assume that the 20 price will go down by 15% and it will be 25 or 85%. So it's gonna be 17. So if the price reduces to $17, which is a 15% reduction, the company will not be making any profit. Let's multiply this price with the sales volume to see the revenue. It's 85,000, the same. So if we go down, as we did, couple of minutes back, the profit will be zero. So that's the maximum change that we can afford. And this is called sensitivity analysis. So how we calculate the sensitivity, it's very simple. All you need to do is to divide the profit, divide the profit by the total value of project variable. And since price is on per unit basis, the profit is for for the total number of units, therefore, we won't be picking up the price. It won't be a like with like comparison. So we'll pick up the total revenue figure. So we'll divide profit by the total sales to see how much change we can afford in this particular project variable, 15%. So we'll repeat the same for variable cost per unit. So for variable cost per unit, we will be again picking up the profit because again, it's a profit that that looks attractive at the moment. So we are, we are, we are selecting this project based on the profitability of the project. So $15,000 divided by $60,000, $60, it's negative, so make it positive. So we'll just put a negative sign. So let's see how much it is. Okay, it's 25%. So, uh, unlike the price where we will we were worried about the reduction in the price because the reduction of the price will reduce the profitability but in case of the variable cost since it's a cost we will be worried about the increase in the cost so here we will say that if the variable cost increases by 25% the company will not be making any profit whatsoever let's check it out and see if this holds true so let's say um, it's 12 at the moment and an increase in uh, the price of 25% will make the profit zero. So let's increase it to uh, increase it by 25% or to 125%. So 125%, and then multiply it with the variable uh, sales volume to calculate the total variable cost. Then it will be $75,000 if it happens. So the revenue this time we will assume that the revenue won't change, and this is. One of the assumptions in sensitivity analysis that we assume that if we are checking the sensitivity of a pro of the project to a project variable, we will assume all other variables will remain constant. So the revenue figure will remain the same. So if it subtracts seventy-five thousand dollars from one hundred thousand dollars, it gives us a contribution of seventy-five thousand dollars, twenty-five thousand dollars. And if we deduct fixed cost of $25,000 from the contribution, it's zero. So we have found that the sensitivity of this project to the project variable is 25%. So again, if we uh, try to drive a formula for that, all we have to do is to pick up the profit divided by the variable cost 
total variable cost. Remember, we have to pick the total figure because the profit is for the total number of units. So total variable cost, and you will find out the sensitivity of the project to the project variable. Now, we are done with two types of the project variables, the selling price and the variable cost. Then there's another project variable. If it changes, it will, it, it will reduce the profitability and that's fixed cost. So let's see how sensitive the project is to the change in fixed cost. So fixed cost, again, the rule will remain same. All we need to do is to pick up the fixed cost, 25,000, sorry, Pick up the profit. Pick up the profit, fifteen thousand, and divide it by the fixed cost figure, and convert it into a percentage. So it's sixty percent. So it means that if the fixed cost increases again, it's a cost, so it will be um, a point of worry if it increases. So if it increases by 60%, our profit will be zero. So let's check it out whether this statement holds true or not. So um, let me increase the fixed cost by one by 60% to 160%. So it will be 40,000. So let's see if other variables remain same, what's gonna happen. So, so the profit is going to be zero. So again, it's 60%. So uh, the 60% increase in the fixed cost will make the profit zero. And this is the maximum increase in the fixed cost that the company can afford, provided all other variables remain constant. So let's look at the formula. Profit, like we did it earlier. Profit. divided by the total fixed cost. So we're done with three project variables, the price, the variable cost, and the fixed cost. Now we have another project variable that is sales volume. So sales volume, you all know, if the sales volume changes, it will also change your profitability. So we need to find out that what percentage decrease in the sales volume a company can afford before the project generates losses. So uh, interesting thing about the sales volume is that it affects both selling price, sales and variable costs at the same time. So if this figure reduces, it will also reduce the variable cost because the same figure will be multiplied with the variable cost to get the total variable cost. So there will be a positive impact, that is the reduction in the cost, but there will be a negative impact, that is the reduction in the revenue. So remember, whenever we have to check the sensitivity of the project to the sales volume, we always have to pick the net impact of the two as a project variable, and that's contribution. So unlike the price we are we were dividing it by the total sales because it was only affecting the total sales figure. Unlike the variable cost, we were only picking the total variable cost because that was the only thing which was affected by the variable cost per unit. But in this case, we will be picking up the contribution because the, sales, the moment sales volume go down, it will affect both revenue and variable cost at the same time. So we will pick up contribution as our project variable. So 15,000 the profit divided by the contribution because we want to see by how much person um, the profit, the, the contribution has to go down because of the sales volume before the project generates losses. So let's convert it into percentage. It's 38 person it's 37.5 percent to be precise so it's 37.5 percent decrease in the sales volume that will make the profit as a zero so let's say, check it out whether it's true or not so um let's see if the sales volume is reduced by 37.5 percent which means to 62.5 percent 
and then multiply it with the price it gives us 62,500 then the same sales volume 5,000 into 62.5% into variable cost so you can see that both revenue and variable cost will go down so uh, let's put a negative sign here to show that it's a cost then 25,000 and from 25,000 if we subtract the fixed cost of 25,000 the profit will be zero so the maximum decrease in the sales volume that the company can afford will be 37.5 percent and if we write the formula for calculating sensitivity of the project to the sales volume it will be profit divided by total contribution so so that's sensitivity analysis and now let's analyze it so the company in this case can only afford a drop of 15% in its selling price it can afford a, an increase of 25% in its variable cost it can afford 60% increase maximum 60% increase in the fixed cost and only 37.5% decrease in its sales volume provided that all other variables remain constant so we can clearly see from here the maximum change in the price 15 percent is basically the minimum amongst all of these which means that it's the project is most sensitive to the price change as it can only afford a decrease of 15 percent and if the price goes down by 16 percent it will be making loss so the most important factor for this project will be the price so the company has to look at the price first and see whether there is any chance of any reduction in the price and one of the ways to which it can remove this risk is to enter into the contract with the customers the, if it enters into the contract with the customers where the price will remain constant then it will never be a point of worry for this company but if it does if it does not enter into price and the price remains vulnerable to, to market dynamics or to changes in the market, then 15% is the maximum change that this company can afford. But the, but the company is least sensitive to the change in fixed cost in this case. So it won't be that much worried about the fixed cost change as it, may, it, as it will be worried about the change in the price. So this is sensitivity analysis. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you very much.